Hello and thank you for tuning in. This is going to be another tutorial video for the VC500 CXT. And in this video, we're going to go ahead and use ArcSoft Showbiz. Okay, now here is ArcSoft Showbiz. It's going to start off under the editing program. Now, if you've already gone ahead and seen our previous video using the Easy Grabber, uh, you'll know exactly where your video file is saved to. So what you're going to want to do is click on this folder icon to open up the browser window and just simply go where the video file is stored on your computer. Now I already have a couple of preloaded here but what you're going to want to do is click on the folder that, or click on the file that you want and then simply select open and that's going to bring in the video into the ArcSoft Showbiz. Now once it's in this top window just simply drag it or just drag and drop here and that's going to bring it to to the storyboard so it's going to be ready to be edited out now in order to go ahead and cut out bits and pieces of the video like let's say if you have uh, commercials or an embarrassing moment in a family video and you don't want that memory to be preserved you can just go ahead and move the cursor bar to the start of the moment where you want to start the cut and click on the green scissors marked mark in you're going to get this little red tab meaning that that that's where this cut's going to start. Then you move it to the end of the moment, or the, the time in the video, and you press the red mark out buttons, and that's going to go ahead and cut out whatever it is that you don't want on the DVD. Now at this point, you press OK. Now keep in mind, you can do this as many times as you want. Now, to go ahead and to put this video onto a DVD, just simply go ahead and click under Produce, create DVD and that's going to ask you if you want to save the current project so we're going to go ahead and say yes it's going to create it as a TMS file this is this is a file extension meaning that it's used only by Arcsoft Showbiz so this isn't going to be the actual video that's being saved with uh, with the cuts this is more like a bookmark letting Showbiz know what's what you've done to the video so far so we're going to go ahead and click save we're going to replace the current file because this is a, a test file. Now it's going to go ahead and bring up the Total Media Studio. Here in the studio you can do several things. You can add text to the, to the starting video. You can double click here as it says and just change that to whatever you like. This is going to be the, st this is the starting video. So once you put the DVD, once it's burned to a DVD and you put it into a DVD player, this is what you're going to see at the start. Now let's say you want to add chapters. You just go ahead and click on where it says set chapters and move the cursor to where you want chapter 1 to end and you press this little film strip that says set chapter. So this is now chapter 1. Move it to where you want it, chapter 2 to, to end and this is now going to be the start of chapter 3. You can keep on doing this until you have all the chapters that you want. You can also change the background to whatever you like here. And you can preview it. Now Untitled is the name of the video file. We decided not to change it, but you can always change it, uh, change it before clicking Produce. Now we're going to go ahead and click Produce one more time and now this is the burning section of the software. We can go ahead and click on create the disk without a menu. If you do want a menu, you can uncheck the box. Now, be sure that under Drive, you have your DVD or Blu-ray burning drive, and be sure that it's a burner and not just a regular ROM drive. And then you have hard drive in case you want to store it directly to the hard drive. And right here under Label, it's the it's the date that you're burning the disk. You can change this to whatever you like as well. And then down here we have a selection of different disk types. The 4.7 is the most common one, most common DVD on the market. Also down here in this bar, it's going to go ahead and show you how much of the DVD you're actually going to use. Now the most, since we have 4.7, it's going to list down 4.7 gigabytes here just be sure you do not go past this limit because if you do then the video will not fit on the disk okay so once you've gone ahead and 
made all the preparations and make sure that made sure that everything is set that you have all your settings you have all your chapters your edits and your cuts you go ahead and click on burn and then at that point the computer is going to take the video file you've just created and put it onto a DVD and that's it that is editing and burning with the ArcSoft Showbiz software now as always if you have any questions or if you're unsure about any any editing or, or changes that you've done or if you have any problems you can always go to our website which is diamondmm.com and go to where it says diamond support you can check our knowledge base where we have our rapidly growing list of uh, tutorials uh, questions common questions asked and answered here. Um, this section is for the VC500 as well as for many of our other fine products. And if you if you want to get a hold of us, if you want to contact us, you can always go ahead and open up a ticket and contact us directly and I or my other or my other other members of the tech support staff will be able to help you out.